everybody. Uh, welcome to uh, Stillman Brewing Company here. We are here with this motley crew that is the Green Bay Brewers Society, and they have answered Sierra Nevada's call to brew a um, batch of Resilience Butte County IPA. IPA. Butte County Strong IPA? No, just uh, Butte County. Just, just Butte County yep. IPA. Um, and this is a fundraiser to support relief efforts for uh, the terrible campfire that was uh, that occurred up in Northern California. Um, Sierra Nevada put out the call and a recipe and said, hey, uh, craft brewers across the country, brew this up, share it with your people, try and let's raise some money to help support relief efforts. And uh, Brad here from Stone Lake Brewing, uh, you kind of took the lead here locally in Green Bay and uh, really was like, yes, let's do this. Yeah, well, it seemed, it seemed like something that we should be a part of. Uh, I think the craft brewing community in general is really supportive of each other when a call goes out for help. We want to be there for each other, especially coming from Sierra. Um, you know, they're they're pioneers and everything. We really look up to those guys and we want to be there for them. So um, we uh, we thought let's let's do this as a group. Um, you know, I looked at it just here in our own brew house and kind of said, you know. How much of this can I really make and really sell in a reasonable amount of time yeah. uh, to really raise some good funds? And it seemed uh, like there was much more opportunity if we spread this out between everybody that we could and raise a, raise a bigger pool of, of money by making this beer together as a group. We work together at least once a year to make our collaborative brew, and this yeah. seemed like um, something else we could all really rally behind. Uh, and so you did not necessarily have the space here in Stillmank, but Badger State did, Sam? Uh, yes, we had a uh, open tank just opened up here uh, recently, so the plan is to brew it soon. And uh, it's going to be a nice uh, mid-six, 7% IPA, West Coast IPA. Nice. Uh, got a number of suppliers to donate. Uh, Brees out of Chilton, Wisconsin. Uh, YCH, uh, Yakima Chief Hops, provided the hops with us. And then uh, my yeast supplier down in Chicago, Omega Yeast, shout out to them. Uh, awesome, awesome uh, group crew. And uh, yep, just getting the ingredients for that, waiting on that, and then brew day is soon. Yeah, right. this, the whole project is moving really, really fast. Yeah. Um, this is only a couple days in, and already we've got you know the whole group together. Sam's already got all the suppliers on board. It's it's really pretty neat to see how fast everybody's interested in making sure yeah. it's successful. Well, and, and Nick, you know, you were one of the people who had, was talking to me about that craft beer just kind of rises to the occasion or, you know, when its community is in need, that, it, you know, that, that breweries are often there to try and help out. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I, where, where does that spirit come from? I think it's really a connection to the, the community when you have people come into your tap room to talk to them to really learn what, what's happening. You're bartending, but you're also part of the community because I think uh, out of this, this area, we donate a lot of money and we really try to help out the community. So um, not that other people don't, but I think we really try to uh, have a connection with the people that are coming into the tap room and really talk to them about yeah, uh, what's happening. I think in particular, our the nature of the business of brewing, um, we rely on a lot of local suppliers for a lot of our uh, raw materials, or whether it's grain or hops or it's cardboard or what have you, we're always kind of a part of the community just in our purchases and then where we're selling to. So doing com anything community related is kind of part of our nature, just as the nature of our business is. Yeah. Well, we've all birthed our business out of our own neighborhood. Right. So like we wouldn't be where we are today if it wasn't for the people around us to rally and rise the breweries up to the successes that we've had. Yep. And part of us being grateful for that is giving back. And the only yeah. difference now is we're helping Sierra Nevada's neighborhood. Right, yeah, we have, we have a, another brewery calling outside and they need help, we want to be there for them. Nice. And when will this uh, delicious IPA be available? Uh, looking around Christmas time. Christmas time. Already a very nice treat. And, uh, you know, the 100% of the proceeds after the costs to uh, acquire few materials and brew things uh, will be donated to uh, the relief effort. So uh, definitely look for this. It will be on tap in all of the craft breweries here in the Green Bay area, in uh, at Anape, uh, over in Door County and Kiwani County as well, and Thumb Knuckle Brewing also. So yeah, come, um, come out, buy a pint or two, 
um, and help us support this cause. Uh, we're, yeah. we're looking forward to a really tasty beer and an, an opportunity to have a pint and do a little bit more with the dollars that are spent on it. So maybe three. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good. Good. You guys are all making me thirsty now. So we, we will wrap up. Be sure to look for uh, Resilience uh, Butte County IPA uh, coming out from your local Green Bay Brewer Society breweries in uh, later this month in December. So uh, thanks Good. a lot, guys. And yeah. thank you for you know helping out and rising to the challenge. Yeah, cheers to that. Cheers. cheers. cheers.